Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we have Greg Shaw now against Joe Olson. Uh, Joe going with, it looks like, Shadow Collective against Profit. How do you feel about this match, Garrett? Um, And I apologize. I was just typing up a uh, comment on something. No, you're good. I'm not sure how this goes. Like, in theory... Shadow Collective gets to start with two aliens. They're going to get a gun on them. They're going to just go nuts right away. But Prophet wants to fight. Oh, yeah. And Prophet really wants to fight. And it feels like if you're building Prophet, you're going to come up with some way to know what you're dealing with there. And you have mm -hmm. to know Shadow Collective's out here. So, like... Especially with it, you know, Greg Shaw and New Allies and, you know, Kessling, who's been playing Shadow Collective for oh, yeah. as long as I've known him. Like, you've got a game plan for this. So. Uh, I didn't see. We'll we see. Didn't see uh, they actually sat down and started without letting us know. But that's besides the point. Uh, I will say this. Like, this is, a, like you said, there's a reason why Greg is playing Prophet. There's a reason why... Uh, who else was on it today? Um, we know Bill's on zero hour. Greg's on profit. Sam was on profit. So, I mean, there's and those are two high level, really good members of the new allies who look at the meta and know what they're doing. Yeah. And so we see uh, Dennis saying Joe didn't start boss as an alien to get the gun right away. That is a little bit of a surprise, especially because he could have gotten the first turn ping with you'll be dead. Mm -hmm. It's possible Joe didn't know he could do that. Yeah. I mean, what are we, are we having a whole discussion about slip sliding? What's it looks like it. What, what am I missing here? Did Greg, <laughs> I'm I'm very very confused. Yeah, because there's multiple judges standing around right now. And So, I mean, clearly something's going on. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But it, between slip sliding away and the Joe, I mean, Joe's a good player. He knows what's going on. But we have Phil, we have Chris, and it looks like we have Greg as well standing there. Yeah, but I, I agree, like, if you get, what is it, Dryden Voss, you get the gun when he's deployed. Yeah, and then you're just, the first hey, at the ping, start yeah. of my turn, like, I get a ping before anything's happened. Okay, Joe's shuffling. Still nothing yet. But in the meantime, I mean, this has to, we have our, the next big event is, of course, Worlds. It is going to be out in Germany, uh, Bochum, Germany this year, September 19th through the 22nd. Uh, I know a lot of Americans are going over. I know a lot of Europeans are extremely excited about it. So if you have the chance to go over and participate in the event, I definitely would be uh, interested in it because it the Europeans 
almost always put out an amazing event. Oh, I think it, I, I'm very sad I'm not able to go. Like, I think it would be a spectacular, I think it'll be a spectacular event. I think everyone who goes will have an absolute blast. I think the Euros know how to host an event, know how to have fun. And that's what's going to happen. So, so whatever happened on the judge call, we move forward yeah. with our life. I don't. Oh, okay. So Joe forgot to put the location out. Okay. At all. The and the players agreed just to fish it out and act as though it had been forgotten. Okay. Okay. That's, I'm going to say this. That's the that's, way to do that. That is a hundred percent how to do that. Like, accidents happen that's why like anytime i do my studying yeah. stuff i put like the i put them in verse so like one will face one way one will face the other that way i know yeah good guy greg kudos to greg play like that could have like completely hosed joe in so many uh, so many different ways like kudos to greg yeah because greg could have and would have been a hundred percent within his rights to say you didn't deploy it Either you don't yeah. get to deploy 100%. it or you've now cheated and let's go. Yes. And, and, that's and... The thing, like, I don't, Greg is not the type of player who wants to be like, I have an, uh, you did something wrong and I win because you did something wrong like that. Greg is, I want to beat you on the correct terms. Yeah. Also, Greg's just an entirely nice guy. Like one of the, I, but there's a reason why honestly, Greg is in the Hall of Fame. So is Joe. Well, like Joe happened. wouldn't have been trying yeah, Joe you know, would have neither of the them would thing. have been and I don't think anyone in the game now would try and pull the oh you didn't deploy it in the correct order whatever you know that definitely has happened in the past I, I don't remember Yeah, I know there was a Death Star 2 era game where someone and, and just deployed so know, their objective and didn't deploy them in the correct order and yeah. got a judge call, and the judge was like, well, unfortunately, they're right, and your objective goes out of play, you get to start with one starting interrupt, like, it was a whole yeah. thing. And, like, we are we don't do that anymore, and I love that. Yeah, 100%. And Greg Zinn, you've been so instrumental, I'm not saying one way or another that, like, I know you're in here saying being cheeky and everything, Greg, you've been so instrumental uh, as, as a part of the community you are a wonderful guy I, we are so happy to have you uh you have been extremely valuable this weekend not only as a rules person but as a just a straight volunteer helping set up all the streaming equipment working with me yesterday and on friday dude you're amazing yeah i mean greg, greg is awesome both gregs all the gregs involved like if you're a greg pat yourself on the back right now because hey, Joe, pat yourself on the back. If you're a Garrett, get a new hat. How dare you? You okay? The reason I'm saying that is you changed your hats all day yesterday. You haven't changed your hat yet today. Yeah, well, I didn't need to today. Like I figured yesterday, I did a different hat for each round. Today, I'm just gonna stick with one hat. So, wanted to fix it up a little bit. Also, if you're a, if you're a Garrett, you got to go to Columbus. We'll apparently, see. Apparently, Carl's drinking, uh, buying drinks for everybody. Uh, Carl's bring buying drinks for Bill if he wins. Well, he made top four, so he he's getting some beer from Carl. Yeah. So, I mean, to be fair, Carl brought me beer for uh, to uh, whatever last event. I went to Indianapolis and that was very yummy beer. So Carl's good people as well. Yeah. For somebody from Ohio. No, Carl's just good people. Let's not yes. try and minimize. Yes, I, know. Like, I know. Good from Carl... Ohio is a much lower bar. Like you got to set that expe expectation low because it's from Ohio. Oh, Carl's just plain yeah. good. Yes. Like, uh, let, let's give Carl his due. I so. agree with you 100%. And like, I know Carl's going to Worlds, Tommy's going to Worlds, Robbie's going to Worlds. Like, there's so many people I'm excited that are going to Worlds to be there. 
I will be the saddest little Dan that you've ever seen if I don't get a, get a chance to go to Worlds. Yeah, it's, I, I hope you're, I know your plan is to go to Worlds and I hope it works out. I yeah. don't believe I won the lottery last night. So Worlds is still not on the table. I was going to say, if I won the lottery, I would definitely be like, Garrett, you're going to Worlds with me. There's like four so, people would be like, you, oh, you're not going, you're going with me. If I won the lottery, I wouldn't have been here today because I'd still be recovering from uh, from whatever celebration I chose to do last night, especially because my wife was out of the country. So I might have gone for like a real quickie divorce, see if I could pull that off. Like, it's all my money. Wow. She's not watching Twitch. I'm not worried about her finding out about that. No, but I mean, what if she finds this clip later at a different time? Again, she's not watching Twitch. I'm not <laughs> worried about. It. She's also not watching Star Wars CCG on YouTube. I've uh, okay. I've suggested you everybody, it. if you really want to make Garrett sad, send this clip to his wife. Please do. That's <laughs> so. We see that uh, Joe has already reinforced the uh, audience chamber. He's got two guns on both the characters there. Greg going down with Yoda and a Master Luke. Uh, it is Master Luke V. Okay. So, and Master Luke comes down for free. Yep. Uh, Joe does not have the shield out, so Greg doesn't have to do anything for that loop. Yeah. That that might have been a little bit of a misplay. Brandon, thank for, you for, for Joe for 35 months. It's great to see you. Uh, join the Fantasy Football League this year. We're going to take the plan is to take them the bat no matter what. Like I think in this case, I probably would have. I'm not always a huge proponent of the goldenrod shields. Like I don't think, you know, unless you're talking about you make them use two force. Like, yeah, two force can be a lot at times, but I don't think it's completely breaking. In this case with Master Luke on turn one, I might have put it down just to Ooh, and there's R2 virtual. And there's the Jedi lightsaber. No, that's Anakin's lightsaber. Or Anakin's lightsaber, yeah. Yeah, that's just an... That's there's a, a lightsaber for... Greg going with the full... I'm going to play this deck as pretty as I can. Do you blame him? Not shiny with those things ma Shiny things make people happy. Not with those shields. Those shields are amazing. But, uh, those sleeves, I mean, Mike... There's Kessling sleeves, couldn't they... be there this week for whatever reason, but he is there in sleeve form. And if you haven't seen Greg's Dark Side, they are another good new ally in Drew Lichtenstein dressed up as a cowboy. So, and we cowboy will see Drew. those. We'll see those next round. Yes. Yes, we will. Oh, man, so. I should have waited. Well, they got posted on Slack somewhere. Yeah, so. they did. But I mean, not everybody's on Slack. I'm more curious to know exactly how current that picture of Drew is because i saw the picture and it could be drew as like an eight-year-old <laughs> or, or it could be week. drew last week yeah 100%. because drew does not look old like drew he has a like the opposite of garrett yes drew has a young face <laughs> i could buy booze at 12 and no one said a word they're like oh yeah that guy's old enough <laughs> so no, not wrong <laughs> now if Greg's got something like a sorry about the mess here. That could get real spicy real quick. Like he's got to have some sort of answer for Dre and Ponda. But a sorry or even a clash could get real interesting real quick. Yeah. You know, and I almost think you go, well, you can blast your proficiency, either one of them. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, you just, if you're doing clash, you, there's the blaster deflection. So, and the immediate grab from Joe, which makes sense. Yep. So now it's, did he not swing or how? Why do you go for... Oh, 
he must have shot first with Ponda, so now he went for yeah Hondo who had the gun, so now he can't shoot. He can't do anything. Joe's yeah. battle destiny is going to be zero because of Master Luke. So all right, that makes no, sense. No, no, Master Luke has to be alone. Oh yeah, good point. But yeah. he's going to get the subtract from R two. Yeah, and the six for battle destiny. Joe also draws a six. No, he draws a five. No, Jabba's twerps is a six. Oh, that's a, okay. The subtract is not a four, high. I think. Yeah, three or four. It'll be R two, I'm sure. Like, because R two subtracts from the total, I believe. Um, that doesn't mean subtract the amount from to total amount from a total opponent's attrition. So yeah, he subtracts three or four from the attrition. And yeah, we're seeing in chat CRG Matt Lutz saying Voss gun and Proxima is the ideal start against profit because then you get the Proxima rolling, you get a gun there right away, and I think he's right as oh, much as i think the the doctor e was cute i don't think it's super important no you i think you do want the 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 extra desk you want that ability to draw or fetch out more aliens with proxima So, yeah, I mean, Greg's in a decent little spot here. Yeah, I uh, definitely agree with that. And, yeah, so Greg suspended You Can't Hide Forever. So Joe's lost two guns already. Which is not good. Like, that's a bad... Uh, That's not a good spot for Joe to be in. And Joe's got to come up with some sort of recovery here. And he's only got three cards in his hand right now. Two of them are dudes, and then one looks like an interrupt of some sort. Okay, so Joe just says it's spread wide time and hope. I mean, I don't hate that move by Joe. Yeah, I mean, you're he's got no guns, though. Yeah, that's the bigger issue is that he has no guns. That's uh, that, that's a thing. Yeah, you, he's got to get more guns at this point. But, I mean, having the Maul isn't bad. As we see Greg going to get a card with quite a mercenary. V and Chewbacca Protect is a really good card here. Yeah. And especially since he probably won't need the quite a mercenary to block Dre's text again. Like, Dr. E... Yeah, I mean, Joe might be running two Dr. E's, which makes sense. Like, he's such an instrumental card for the deck. Yeah, I would expect he's running two, but, like, one of them's dead. Yes. And it's guns. not like quite a mercenary is dead either. Like, that's just gone to used. Uh, Greg is using Solo, it looked like. I saw the AI, but it, it was, uh, yeah, it's uh, Solo with the pointy... Pointy AI. And like I said, Greg just wants to make this deck look pretty. 
you say that like it's a bad thing. Uh, no. Why would I say this like it's a bad thing? Yeah. So Greg's gonna free Han flip, pay five, get back his five, including his sorry and his R two, and they should go or get back four. So. And then Joe says, I'm going to put out Battle Order, which is going to hit him. It's going to hit both of them. I mean, frankly, it's... harder. Like, um, Greg's at one site. Greg says, I'll pay Greg's three to drain for site. two and ping for one. Yeah, I mean, I know that Greg is at one site, but at the same time, like. Long-term Battle Order is going to help Joe more than it helps Greg. Greg is not going to yes. be able to contest Gaul. That's going to be a struggle. But right now. Until Joe goes to Gaul and Joe doesn't have ships in hand, Joe doesn't have a way to go to Gaul. Right now, Battle Order hurts him more. Because Greg is at best really gonna probably just have like two sites until late, until he can go with his own spread. And at that point, his spread is going to be more about the ping profit damage than it is the drain. And Charlie makes a good point once, that once Joe gets out the first light, he's he should be in a lot better situation. Yeah. Robbie makes a good point that Joe, you know, Greg used eight of his force between what retrieving and draining. Is that a T3PO with a Darth Vader mask on it? Or some sort of googly eyes looking thing. Yeah, I can't tell. Greg somebody get Greg to like hold that up to the camera. We'll see it eventually. It's some sort of you know, I'm sure someone, I think it is, the more I see it, I think it's a Vader mask. It's a gray Vader mask mm -hmm. on 3PO and good. Have fun with it. Like, yeah, no, we, we've I talked think... about this. Like, I want people to have fun. I want people to have fun with their cards. This is fun. Yes. And we see the we said to go grab a uh, thing. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think Greg could have uh, popped it if Joe didn't, like, oh, I don't know. Idea track, you're so funny. Looks like Joe should be activating about 16. Like, I could see maybe paying to drain with Maul here. Yeah. Yeah, and he does pay three and lose one. This is a Phantom Menace, which actually is. And Greg losing a quite a mercenary. I'm not sure I like that. Well, I mean, he just peeled off the top. He may have two, though, because if he's pulling Chewy, and honestly, he might have a mercenary. Like, I'm starting to see people run mercenary armor a little bit. Yeah. Just to, you know, when you're already pulling it, it cancels barrier, like throw it on somebody. And as we see the first light to Gaul, I assume we'll see a pilot on it. And Joe's doing a whole host of things here. So looks like he went looking. To see if uh, he had inconsequential, and it's not in there. So he gives Kira a gun. He's got the first light. He's flipping. Now he's going to start doing damage. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of damage really quick for him. Yeah, and he's going. I mean, he's going to get the ping straight away. Like Greg's got to go after somebody here soon. The upside is. Joe still doesn't have inconsequential, so I think you have yeah. to go after Kira. And just do you have an answer for Kira for something like the uh whatchamacallit? Stunning leader or something like that. I mean, quite a mercenary V would be a great card for that. Yeah. 
And again, Greg might be running too, but I don't think he's got two in his hand. Mm -mm. So I'm only saying might because, yeah, he played it early, but then he shuffled that reserve deck a couple times. So it's very possible it just got shuffled to the top and that's where we're at. So we'll see a ping of one from Profit here. I think I'm going to Joe. Yep. You just lose the hollow table. You just went and got with my for move. You don't need the force. Mm -mm. There's no need to risk doing anything dumb. And we see another masterful move in Joe's hand. I would expect if he doesn't need that force for anything else towards the end of the turn, you know, maybe when Greg's in his draw phase, we'll see the masterful move. Just to, again, give him a trackable six, get it out of there. And he must have drawn the inconsequential. Or he'd have grabbed it. Yeah, he, he did lose the Phantom uh, Menace. Yep, he lost the Phantom Menace to add three to the drain, but he's got a Gick. I'm sure he's got more than one Phantom Menace. So I think the Hollow Table is just a throw no matter what. Like, I don't think you put it down and put Phantom Menace there. Mm -hmm. If you don't have Phantom Menace and just, you know, even if you do all that, it gives you a drain of one. That's just not that impactful, especially when no. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if Greg has a projection and you just throw projection of Skywalker on there and battle and wipe it out. Like, you don't get anything out of it. No. So. Well, hmm. I don't know. Like, like I said, Greg's in a he's in a little bit of a tricky situation right here, just because how much damage Joe is doing. Yeah, Joe's definitely threatening a whole bunch, and Greg's got a. Considering two turns ago, we were like, Joe's not in a great spot, and all of a sudden. The script has Joe's been... now definitely yeah. threatening, and we see the ray drop. Uh, I don't like Greg trying to turn this into a drain race. You, you don't can't, win you that cannot. race. I don't like, think, I think you. I, I think you have to be going after Kira. Like, I mean, the nice thing is with him having solo, he's able to use it. Oh, oh soloing from Lost Pile, the Nabron. Yeah. Every and there was a second quite a mercenary as he just drew it for destiny. Oh, all right. I guess I would have gone Kira, but okay. Maul's cute too. Does he have like a Jedi's concentration to just shut down Maul's swings? That would be a little filthy. A little. I mean, you got to have something because I imagine Joe swing well. I gotta imagine Joe swings at Han, but like you can yeah. drain on the first light. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to crack the old necker over here. I'm just trying to look something up on first light real quick. What's that? In theory, now I don't know if there's any light side gangsters, but if there are, and they're on board the first light, they would add to the total. All right, there are not, according to Gemp, so maybe it doesn't matter. There's no light side gangsters? There are not. All of the gangster, all the cards with gangster in lore are dark side. So... It just would have amused me if they were all, uh, if there was the possibility for a yeah. light side gangster that would have been like, oh, I'll put it at the first light side. Oh, well, my total battle destiny is even plus one. I think gangster is like bounty hunter. It's only dark side. I, I do think you're right. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's Boba Fett. Light side Boba Fett is not a bounty hunter. Apparently. Yeah. Din Djarin is not a bounty hunter, even though he technically is a bounty hunter, which makes no sense. In terms of our game, yeah. like in terms of like the, the story, like it works for the game, but in the storyline, it doesn't kind of make sense. Yeah, it's it's important in gameplay. And we did see the Jedi's yeah. concentration to stop the 
mall. Which is big. To stop the swings. Like, that's real big. And now Greg's getting two Destiny there with Ray and Solo. Which made a lot of sense about why he did it that way. No, he should be a da da Daimyo. Daimyo. We don't talk about that show. Why not? He should be nothing. What, Light Side Boba? Yeah. Why? He wasn't even really Light Side then. He was just less evil. He was gray. Yeah. That's it's not like, the way. Are you sure about that? Uh, I think we're seeing a math going on right here because I don't think Joe's got the gick. He did subtract one from the solo shot. Well, seven for Battle Destiny. That looks like Yoda. There's a six and something. Yeah. No, Ray. Ray covers. Okay. Ray or Yoda. Either one covers at seven. So. Yeah. But no mall. That's no mall. But I mean, uh, you got to think Joe's lost some cards. He's going to have to lose some cards here. Yeah, if Joe doesn't have the gig, there's, yeah, no, there's he's peeling. Going on. He, he's peeling. He's peeling. <clears throat> oh, he must have the no escape to get back mall. Oh, that's wow. A he lot peeled like six peeling. to seven. That was a lot of peeling. Now, does Greg have a way to force a shuffle? Just to spite, like, you do not get to no escape. Honestly, this is where if he's got the best shuffle combo to stop the barriers, you just go, all right. Hmm. Like, but the thing is now, Greg's not doing any ping damage, right? Because it has to no. be a, or no, it's a battle. It's any battleground. Is that a battleground? Okay. Yeah, it's if Prophet was on the zero side, he would not be draining. He couldn't drain on Tatooine. But the thing is just Greg's, a battle. Greg's my fantasy only hope. Like I goes down to like fourteen or fifteen cards down total. Yeah, like he just I mean, activated he's... everything. Like Matt Waddle scooping pile of dudes in hand. Uh, he's got a decent hand. That's the one thing. Okay, there's yeah, he's got escape. dudes. Although I think one of them's an Aura Sing. There's the no escape to get back. Yeah, that was why I think yeah. he needed the needed to hope for the shuffle. There's Hondo going down to the fall. No, you got to go to the the palace. Yeah, I don't know why you go to the farm. Farms a trade yeah. minus one. Either you go the to the palace. I think you go to the palace just in case because if you kill Solo, you can't drain at the audience chamber. Yeah. So I think you go Palace. All right. Joe says, Garrett, you're wrong. Throws a, lot what people, is... a lot of people normally say that. He throws what might be his last gun on Hondo. Like, again, he's he doesn't have inconsequential gonna, like, barriers. He's not Danic Jericho out so, in his hand. So, I mean, you would think he's not going to throw his gun on Hondo. It's going to be on Derek. Der Der yeah. Danic? Danic. And, yeah, he's making that switch. Right there, which makes sense. But he doesn't have a lot left. And I don't love Danik sitting alone. Like I Joe has said, all I can do right now is go wide. You are owning your one site. That's fine. Yeah. And I think Yeah, he's gotta I think he might have to put down is, uh Hondo just to get his flip. Yeah. Or or a saying no. Or a sing's um, already on table. Slow down there. Yeah, yep, that's yep. uh this is <laughs> somebody um, was like, she's already out there, dude. Yeah. Uh you know what's interesting is Joe is not playing the new virtual no escape. So if by some small chance Greg has a Y Wing and landing claw in his deck, that would be busted. Why, why would you Suggesting that oh <laughs> because I and like Maul to boss Nass's chambers for the drain of four. Why not? Because he says, I don't think you can stop my non-battleground drains. Yeah. And I think he's right. I mean, so, he owns 
what five battlegrounds at this point to Greg's one. Yeah, like Greg does not. Greg's got one battleground. But at the same time, like Maul has very little immunity. There is no Phantom Menace out. Yeah, but but it's, who's going to go it's after hard. him? Yeah, he's really hard to get rid of. Like he's still he's immune to less than five, and he can subtract one. No, I, so, I like Joe's turn there. I really do. Yeah, I think Joe's turn was very, very good. I, yeah, he should have flipped and flipped back, so he'll get the mm -hmm. should have gotten the damage. And yeah, Greg's got more than enough cards in hand to probably lose lose one. Mm -hmm. So we do see a clash. We see a lot of options. I mean, he's got the EPP OB. He's got like four characters in hand. Like somebody's getting got. Oh, yeah. It's just a question of who. Yeah. And maybe that's the play right now. It's just like, here's OB to go get Danic. Like, Danic draw, he does draw Destiny. Yeah, but you've got the clash and you get rid of the gun. Yeah. Like somewhere you're getting rid of the gun. You got to get rid of a gun. That that's right now because Joe doesn't have a way to save those guns. Like you just keep taking them off table and all of a sudden Joe's just plink draining, which is mildly obnoxious but not I don't know, that drain of 4 is not plinking. That drain of 4 is going to be a problem. Yes. We like, learned that last that's, game with Phil. Drain of 4 but, is a problem. So now let's say you do you've got so he's got four characters in hand. I don't know who they all are, but like you go, all right, here's Obi to the audience chamber. Here's maybe Lando with Axe or somebody to Lars Farm. Battle Danic, hit him, clash him. Or even better, you know, battle Hondo. Clash him. Move away. I don't think you clash out Honda. You just say, all right, I'm going to put some forfeit fodder with him. Yeah, that's forfeit fodder. Yeah. Uh, really quick update. Because uh, Joe does not have the Gick. The Gick is not dead. Yeah, the Gick is gone. Uh, this could be bad. This could be This could be very bad. Um, the ISB has taken over Lothal. <laughs> uh, Bill is not flipped. Uh Brian Fred is flipped. <laughs> yeah, th this is going to be very bad for Joe. Oh. What? Chewie, oh. Does Chewie cancel Hondo's game text? Um... Uh, I don't. Hondo's power four, so no. No. But still, <laughs> getting used I mean, two destinies plus a lightsaber here, this could be extremely bad. Yeah, that was what I was like. Uh, yeah, you're you're going. Hondo's going to be four plus a destiny. You're going to be a max of let's say eleven power. To and the eleven is he, he can't fourteen the, he, and two destiny. And Joe cannot manipulate the destiny because there's yeah. no gun there. This is this is it. Yeah, this might be. Yeah, yeah just yeah, Joe's got a way to Joe right now. Yeah. Yeah, Hondo's hit. Um. So how, Hondo... much is, how much is uh, Greg going to win by? That's the real question. Yeah, at this point, I think Joe, oh. Greg. <laughs> I mean, it was in hand. You're not going to play it anyway. It doesn't what? matter. Still. It really just doubles Chewie's power. Uh, and let... No, Lando's not a rebel. Yeah. It only doubles rebels. But still. So we got 12, 17, 22, 25, I think 30. Is that? Yeah, Joe's peeling. Yeah, I mean, that's game. That's Ellis, yep. Joe's peeling. Joe's not bothering to lose Hondo to be one less card and lost. Ooh. Uh, that's 22 for Greg. Ooh. I, 
Uh, Looks like 31 and lost would be my uh, count of them. Yeah. Counting it. And I missed Greg's count. Yeah, I missed so, Greg's count, but uh, I mean, that's that's rough. That is, I'm that sure, is rough. I'm sure Joe's going to take a uh, five minute. Oh, definitely. Walk to clear his head because that was a. Uh, that was all about the beatdown, baby. That that was, that was ugly. So, or it was beautiful, depending on which side you're on. Yeah. So, uh, so why don't we take a five minute break? We're gonna uh, we'll check in on the room, see what else what's going on. Uh, we'll definitely get a confirmation on the life force as well as the lost piles. Once we do, we'll come back for game two.
Okay, welcome back, everybody. So we do have confirmation. Greg Shaw ended up winning that game by 22. Uh, he had 10 in his loss pile to Joe's 32. So Hitco Racing? Joe said he was looking for his random cards. Chris Kelly is having a minor heart attack right now. Chris Kelly's busy playing in the Constellation. Hitco Racing. I, I, I'm... I'm I, I got nothing. I, I don't know what to get out, Matt. I, I, I don't even know what to say or do here. That that yeah, is no. and he is starting with like my father before me, which makes sense. Uh Greg is playing the Drew Lichtenstein uh Vader deck of Revenge of the Sith. He is starting security precautions over I am your father, but we definitely see that he is. Yeah, this this has to be shield busting. Yeah, it's got to be shield busting. Although he doesn't get the farm, I mean, you're getting security. You're getting secret plans out right away. You're maybe getting coward out quickly. You're going to have to put the number anti numbers card out. I wonder how many and uh, a grabber, and feet. then and. Is Joe playing sense? Probably. Like, I would 100% be planning to sense cold feet. Like, sense it and grab it. I, I will say if you need to win by 23, playing a deck that causes your opponent to go, What in the blue hell are you trying to do? is a way to make that work. Oh, Matt Thornton, you are one cheeky little man. Like, there is absolutely no way that in all of the new allies testing, they have None. said, what's our line against shield-busting Hitco that starts Anakin's pod racer? That's on the level of, we should make a movie about a tornado full of sharks. No <laughs> one suggests it. Or snakes on a plane. And we are getting to see Joe's very very professional shuffle level yeah no there. Joe. I, and... I know timo was looking to see how they shuffled joe didn't do piles joe did those individual and then mm -hmm. the riffle i'm i like joe's shuffle yeah no uh kyle which ones were gems the sharknadoes or the snakes on a plane what about uh snakes on a plane has samuel L. jackson and therefore it is good i mean i love the 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 how they got him to be <clears> on it have you seen the interview he did? It's literally yes. it's like it's a it's I get to say like it's stakes on a plane. How could I not be interested? Yeah. But like I feel like Samuel L. Jackson does movies occasionally just because he's like, this sounds cool to me. Yeah. Like he did episode two because he was like, I get to be a Jedi and I want a purple lightsaber because that's what I want. And you know what? And it says an airbrush on it, right? Oh yeah, no, Bad I know mother. Forker. Bad something. Yep. Yeah, I know. How, I've I've seen a uh, good place. <laughs> I know how to swear when you don't swear. And Sam Jackson is, is greater than Naboo Customs, greater than Bortle. Greater I don't know Bortle. what the heck Joe is looking up, but now I kind of want to know. Like, you reveal your phone. Oh, you wanted to see the back of a card? Uh, I don't know. Like, Joe is... Now I want to know what he's looking up though. Like pod racer prep. Oh. <laughs> Goes back into your deck. Yeah, yeah, it does go back in the deck. So that, that makes sense. And I think he wanted to look and see how many cards he starts with, too. This tells, yeah, this tells me eight. he doesn't even know what the pod racing does. It's <laughs> I, I like that Joe is like Logan was racing. not born when pod racing was played. Who? Logan. No. Like. And there's, I like them both showing off their hands. Thank you, guys. So, but Joe's got a, it looked like Joe had the Dust Star 2 site. He's got Luke. He's got a Saber. That's a good start for him. 
like that's a pretty solid start. Now he doesn't have not only does he not have the way of things, he doesn't even have walk lane. Like, I don't know how you play Hitco without walk lane. Um well. Hitco does is, not need walk lane. I don't A, you're wrong. But also, like, I, I don't Yeah, Pod Racing Arena is a walk lane. You retrieve. Get your stuff from the what I'm hearing is Joe's Padres Arena really needs an Ewok on it. I can't imagine there's not an Ewok Pod Racer. Chris Kelly, if you're watching this, we need an Ewok uh, Pod Racer. Make it happen. Yes. That's if it doesn't uh, happen, if it doesn't happen, we're taking away a Yankees hat a day. Tebow in Pod Racer. It's, it's walking. walking. It's, it's walking. walking. <laughs> the fact that we both had that exact same yeah. thought is we've sad. been wait, we've been spending way too much time together. <laughs> uh, but we did see that uh, Greg went out and got uh, used Vader's obsession to go get the works. Makes sense. Joe has Clash in his hand too. Yeah, Joe's got a really good hand, especially for a pod racing deck, like. Joe's hand is on the line of like, hey, this is if you could just write up your hand, what eight cards do you want there? He's got yes, but his starting cards, but his starting cards are not what you want, according to Garrett. Well, that's something he'll have to deal with. Like now, I will say that it's the stuff like this that brings me back to doing commentary. It's the little like. <laughs> The weird stuff that people do when you don't expect it. Like last night, Joe was asking for people, hey, who brought collections? I need random cards that I normally don't play, including a light side pod racing arena. I'm like, yeah. I'm thinking to myself, what card is the underlying card or what card is the the V card? Underlying card for pod yeah. race arena? Yeah. Like what do you, what do you use as the V card for pod, like where pod racing arena is the underlying card? I'm like, doesn't make any sense to me i mean i like, will say last uh the last couple of events i've gone to when i brought cards for deck building anakin's racer a pod race arena all the pod race stuff was in it not because i expected to do it but because a you know if something crazy happens and i need to do it like it's like four cards to bring with but I don't think I did Boonta Eve. Like, I think I might have just put the pot racer in just in case for some reason. So I don't think I would have been able to do a full pot racing start. I'm a little surprised Joe didn't have those with him if this he deck was on there. From Seattle. There's no way. Yeah, but if this deck was even on his radar as a hey. Probably I'm... not. All right. So Joe's going in with a completely untested. I can see it. Joe's Back. a wild All man. Right. Joe, Joe is a uh, wild and crazy guy, so maybe. There's a reason why he's Captain Redbeard. The deck was on the radar being in the top eight was not. I feel like... <laughs> this was just a consolation deck. Yes. So it's actually Joe's retro deck. He just decided to bust it out. <laughs> um... So you see Vader go to the Vader's Castle, borderless Vader Castle, which looks just fine next to that regular border card, Sean. I'm just going to say. No. And it's, a, it's the docking bay sandwich. You got the works. You do got the you docking move? Bay, you get the castle. Joe's making room. I don't even know what Joe's doing. Like, Joe's just making, moving stuff around. <laughs> like, do you move, do you put Vader... Do you move Vader to the chasm knowing you're probably going to face down a here's Luke with a saber? But does he know that he's... I mean, not with the fact that you you don't have the I am your father. I wouldn't. Yeah, like... I mean, Vader can go get you Vader's anger, which means you're going to add two to your draw and potentially it be... You, it also gets you lightsaber parry, which protects you a little bit from the saber. Yeah, I'm... We see the sand to go grab, which means Luke isn't like adding one to uh, his destiny. 
definitely a combo card and another Vader, but yeah, and it looks like he's just going to leave the Vader there. I kind of like. I that. think it might be the masterful move. Yeah, and Arak. Yeah, I, I think Vader. I think leaving Vader's the right play. Draw a couple. Like you got your Vader. If Joe's gonna come down with a spy and something to go after Vader, more problems. Good luck. Like yeah. he, he did something insane. So there's for Young Fool to. What in the heck does Young Fool even do? I just saw that he activated a couple. Young Fool. If you have two battlegrounds on table and an opponent does not, activate two force. Okay. Cancel disarm Jedi presence. If City is in a battle and no other Dark Jedi participating, add a destiny to total power. Oh. Solid little card. Oh, yeah. It's like Chris Kelly wanted to help Vader Revenge of the Sith, and he did. Seems reasonable. Because, yeah, Joe's only got one battleground on the table. The Pod Race Arena is not a battleground until the race is done. Okay, so we have an update. Uh, B. Fred beat Bill by 21. Ooh. ISB over zero hour. For Brian, 35 for Bill. ISB over zero hour sounds like that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So, so it looks like Carl is going to save a lot of money at uh, <laughs> Columbus Mega Worlds. Yeah, but like he misses out on whatever the uh, free ish cost That's was going to be. Yeah, like, yeah I've... Carl won't have to spend a lot of money on the free-ish beer. beer. He's yeah. going to get a some beer to build. So, Joe, or uh, Greg, is I think is definitely worried about this being a shield busting. The only thing, only shield he's put out so far is Secret Plans. And I like that. Like, he I would does not Carl have... Grabber. <sighs> Unless you have another Grabber, I don't think I would. Hitko's one of those decks that runs a few really key interrupts and being able to go keep fetching them with, like, Bionic Hand. And I get that. That's and... just so brutal. And I understand that, but at the same time, like, you need, you want to wait and see what Joe... Like, if you can get a Verify at any point, that's what Greg wants. But it's going to be hard because Joe's really not playing a lot of stuff to give him like give out a verify yeah and it looks like yep he there's six force which means oh luke's coming down it's just where yeah. are you going to ender or are you going to cloud city i think you might go cloud city yeah yep going going over to cloud city flips him yep there's the saber from hand yeah no from you reserve Oh, reserve deck. Okay. Yeah. If you, uh, <laughs> that is possible idea track that this is, a uh... that this isn't shield busting, but it looks like it. So Greg is leery on shields. Like that's not a terrible plan. No. You know, and this could be where it's more like, here's a bunch of Lukes and Yodas and Gift of the Mentors, and let's go. Uh, Joe's first two games were not on stream, Sean. Yeah. Joe beat Phil very, very quickly because Phil and Joe knew what the matchup was and said Joe wins these and Nine called it a day. Eight. Especially, it, and I, I'm going to say this, and if, if Phil knew that Joe <laughs> was playing pod raising and shield busing, I didn't want to play against it. I'm. I will say that is a discussion I am having. It was raised last year in Worlds when a similar thing happened. Yeah. And it's going to be discussed again because I will say that if you can say, hey, I don't have to play my opponent, which means I can hide this game. Without That's anyone right. seeing my deck, I don't like that. 
Same. That's one thing. And I've about. been very vocal that I disagree with that. I don't. You know, I'm you not can't stop it... the. You can't stop the throw of the game. You can't stop the concede. The, those are in the rules. It's allowed. It is what it is. Yes. But I think being able to say, hey, not only do I not have to take the mental energy of playing the game, but I can not take the mental energy of playing the game and not give up any information to my opponents. Yeah. I don't like that. That I don't like. I don't agree with. And I definitely so, think there needs to be a rule in place to block that from happening. Joe keeps Hera and Luke on the pod racer, which makes sense. That puts him to 15. And archetypes, the archetypes were, shared. were shared. That's that's saying, but the archetype is literally like, oh, Hitco yeah. or Hitco is very different than here's Hitco with pod racing, racing, and let's see if there was busting or not. So shield busting is the term because you're allowed to play at any point in the game from underneath your starting effect, you're allowed to play four defensive shields. There are cards that allow you to play more throughout the game. They're called Cold Feet, uh, Hear Me Baby Hold Together, Turn It Off, Turn It Off, or Perimeter Scan. However, with this car, this deck, it, it, the shield busting decks are designed to make your opponent use their maximum four shields and utilize other game uh, strategies that at one point were negative interactions through uh, gameplay at a point before. Yeah. And, and Pesto, you're 100% correct. Joe and Phil would have absolutely preferred not to be paired. I definitely get that. And in a perfect world, they would not have been, you know, they wouldn't have had to play each other, but they did get paired because of how this works. And then thank you, Charlie, being able to take advantage of that and hide that data and hide some amount of data when you can absolutely watch your opponent's plays mm -hmm. and get that data from them, I think is a problem. Yeah, so, and there are other cards. Yeah, there's like, lots of yeah, cards that'll get but more I'm shields. I'm just saying that those are the main four. There are other ones. Onyx 2 is one because it is a reacting ship where if yeah. you react, you don't get the shield, but if you deploy it as normal, you do. And I think Red 8 is the same. Yeah. But so. what we're saying is I don't think Joe intentionally, Joe and Phil intentionally had that mindset before Phil scooped. Or Phil conceded to Joe. So I, I don't know that it was an intentional, like this is our intent, but this is now the second event in a not second event, but second not in a row, but second event because worlds, the scoop for Hayes allowed Hayes, who was playing shield busting, to not have to show that deck anywhere. Yeah. Ahead of time. So it's There's a discussion that needs to be made somewhere. And I, I'm I not see. sure how to make it. I'm not sure what exactly the rules are. I, I'm not, you know, not pretending that I'm the smartest guy in the room and can say what we do here. But this is now the second time this has occurred with very similar, you know, and a very similar issue. And I do think we need to say, all right, if you're not going to play, then... Maybe then your deck type, your full deck list is exposed. Yeah. And like if you want to play the game and play it as much, no, that was uh, our only hope to move uh, projection or to move oh, prophecy. Okay. 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 Like if you're going to play it and, you know, play it out legitimately and much like there's OCS rules that say you're expected to play a certain point, the, the game, that's a reasonable expectation. So and I think Joe moved prophecy just to get a bonus activation. Uh, you're right, Bastion. Um, now I'm going to say this: I don't agree with open deck lists for everyone because it does take away some of these like expected situations. What we're saying, what I think is, if say my opponent, my teammate, and I are paired off in game one or in round one, my my teammate says, "Okay, I'm going to concede to you. 
then I think that there's a situation that there should be information given out to the possible opponents going forward based on what your deck is, because you do not, you have not provided information that everybody else has. And if you choose to play it out and say, hey, we're going to play it so the deck list isn't shared, which I'm totally in fine with, yeah. then it has to be reasonably played. Yes. It isn't a, oh, yeah. we're going to play it out. By the way, I just activated everything and drew. Good, good game. Like yeah, that was not, not that was that goes against the intent of the rule and violates it. So yes, and I do say that I think that both player both games should be played so that way you're not just like saying, Oh, I'm gonna play the deck that I don't have as a surprise to everybody. So th there's and I do ha I have faith in the tournament committee. I have faith that it's gonna be happen, especially before worlds going forward. I do intend that everybody who is attending worlds uh will follow in the sportsmanship. Because the game is supposed to be, honestly, at this point, the game is more fun than competitive to a lot of people. Yeah. And I think that's what everybody wants to see happen is a well-maintained and well-played event. But that being said, we're through that part of the discussion now. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, let's get back right to the game. We see... Like we see Ahsoka Tano come down to join. Or is that Ahsoka friend of the, no, that's Ahsoka Tano. No, it's Ahsoka Tano. And there's numbers. The So, Greg, why does Joe hate Chris Kelly? <laughs> so, and we see the oppressive Joe, enforcement. Joe, because because Joe is a Seattle Mariner fans, and we all remember as Mariner fans what happened in two thousand one. Old men yelling at clouds. How dare you, Carl? I am not that old. Why would you be so mean to Carl? Like you're that? older than me. I think. I mean, why would you be so mean to Dan like that? It, so Joe works with Phil on the regular. Like they build decks together, they play test together. It's well known that they work together outside of the events. So that's when we say teammates, it's like Joe and Phil work together. Yeah, te teammates. This is not a team event, but at the same time, apparently Batmouse is a teammate, but apparently he's not to me. Yeah. So, so maybe come like, back over to California, Batmouse, and learn you a thing or two. Um. So interestingly enough, being, yeah, Greg's like, yeah, oh, I'm going to take out the insert. It. Now it has to actually, it's, it is canceled when inserted or revealed. Yeah. So the I insert being in there. So the ruling with inserts being in the deck, the insert being in there, Greg has to announce how much he's going to activate before he does it. And then yeah. that's what he can activate. So if he uh, says, I, I mean, there's no reason it. not to say I'm going to act, but you also, if you activate everything and reveal it, it's fine, but it means you can't really he go has back the shield on up it. now at this point. So it's kind of yeah. a moot point. It means it's going to get canceled, but the rule on the activate is the same. It does matter. the yeah. the The rule says you have to announce how much you're activating. That's yeah, that's you got to do rule. that. And that came up yesterday in the game with Johnny Chu and uh, <laughs> Casey. Came up yesterday when someone played inserts. Like, so what is this? 1997 Star Wars CCG. And I don't think Joe battles like. Joe? No, Joe did not. Joe drew. Yeah. Joe, Joe said, all right, I'm going to draw. Yeah. Because the other thing is, like, with Cla that Vader is very clashable. Yeah, that Vader is clashable. He's sorry about the messable. That Vader does not necessarily last. Um, idea track, I'll be honest, I need to look at the... Yes, if you're Rule. in your activate phase, say you activate down to it, you can activate again. Yeah, but if you didn't, yeah. you can't if continue. You, say, you can't be like, I'm going to activate one, I'm going to activate one, yeah, I'm going to activate one. You can't one. do that. You say your number, like, Greg, honestly, Greg probably said, I'm going to activate the max amount. I'm assuming. Yeah. Activated so because he had the, the... Shield, it came out, it flipped, it didn't do anything, it fizzles. 
and then he's allowed to continue act, to activate. So now, you see the Padres. Said, Joe's now up to, I think, 20. And I like Greg is stacking his high destinies just to make sure he's going to force Joe to end it at some point. And there we yeah, see Greg's smart, got a grabber. He got the tentacle out. He got the I am your father. Yeah, I think Greg's playing this very well. Yeah, Greg's not rushing, which is the, exactly the right thing he needs to do at this point. Joe, because Joe is down by 22, I remember, if I remember correctly. Yep. 22, Joe is the one who has to do something. Yeah. Jo Joe needs to make something occur here. And... And so uh, I believe you the know, other matchup is uh, Bill's Revenge of the Sith Vader versus Brian Fred's Old Allies. Um, I, I honestly don't know how I feel about that one. I feel like Revenge is advantaged, Maybe. but I don't know how much. Not by okay by twenty three. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying question. is I, I don't know if it's that advantaged. So I think Greg okay. says Lord let's Sidious. Um... Or Lord Cities, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh Ghost always see there get... are the AI. Again, Greg going with I'm gonna show off as many AIs as I can. Yeah. And, and he's else? got two Dark Jedi, he's got two Sith on table, so he can use yeah. the always two there are to reset a destiny to two, which is real good. Yeah. And Twitch deciding to get cloudy on me quickly. again. Yeah. Twitch said I couldn't see cards again. So, yeah. Uh, and another, there's Mara. There's Dr. Ian e. e. Ponda. And I mean, uh, usually it's two, maybe three. It really depends on the build. Like I think the person Sidious is probably going to play real the hard to get rid of. Yeah, the the person who's going to play the most is Bill Caver. And here's the clash on Vader. Yeah. Which does take a saber out of play, which is good. It's now the saber. only saber is Mara's. And it can't swing at Ahsoka, although I think you'd be going at Luke 100% anyways. But now you one blaster deflection covers uh, well covers you in this battle. You. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm done. Okay, All right. On. Fair enough. Well, I was going to ask, like, how does it work with Vader, this Vader, where if you initiate, do you get to use this game text where you can pull a card? But no. he has to be alone to do that. Yeah, he and he's excluded anyways. He's excluded as a matter of rule. So at the start of the battle, he's immediately excluded before he can use his. That's what I was trying to ask. Yeah. Without or with saber, I don't know what you're at. Oh, with. Are you asking if Sidious, Sidious is always fully immune? Yeah. Um. This is not the Jemperer who was really good yes yeah, so it, because it's an immediate and like i said it's not it's a rules enforced action it's a exploiting the shield realignment you can't hide forever v no longer protects against anything pod racing i mean greg doesn't have a pod racing card out there no like he may end up eating the lose six to pod racing which Kind of feels bad. Now, which one is the new pod racing shield? It's the pod racing shield. It's the just the it's I think it's the regular uh, pod racing shield. Pod race card type defensive shield. Uh it's you've yeah. never won a race, which is also stops I did double it. agent double from agent targeting undercover. opponents undercover yeah. spies. An undercover spy is about to be lost. Place it out of play instead. 
Um, oh, yeah, it stops double agent targeting the undercover spy, so you can't use double agent oh, targeting no, your no. undercover spy to get rid of a different spy. All right. No. As... Well, no, yeah, your your opponent. So, yeah, if they have a, like if they have Jin, they can't use double agent targeting Jin to get rid of your spy. Yeah, yeah, because the dark side one is never Yarnall. Yep. So <laughs> now we see yeah. Chewbacca protector. I'm assuming this is a Jedi presence. Yeah, probably. You know, well, Jedi presence uh, and Chewie cancels Doctor E's game text. Uh, because a lightsaber is present. Because the lightsaber is present, which then puts Dr. E back into being power six, amusingly enough. Yes. But so, he can't operate. Yeah, he, he can't operate, which is what's more important. <laughs> I love this game sometimes. I really do. Honestly, I love that. That That's, uh, you know, why not? And yeah, an imbalanced combo to stop the story about the mess. I'll be honest, I don't know if Sorry About the Mess is your biggest concern right now. Yeah. Like, Luke is power 16, Chewie's 12, Lando's 10, so we got 22, 38, 40-something power to, what, 6, 10, 15? Yeah. And then another 13, 20, and forfeit, so, like, you're down a whole pile. And it'll be less yeah. than that forfeit, because you're certainly... I actually think you might just swing at Honda. Make sure you, you just, clear that. he's the easiest hit. You clear the yeah. six forfeit. Like you don't run into force field. Yeah. Because you don't have a way to grab it right now. Unless you put a card down first with uh, like my father. Which would be the other, you know, like Joe, I don't think has put a card down with like my father. Six Chewie's hit. Uh, yep, Chewie's hit with a three and a three. I'm a little surprised you go for Chewie instead of Lando. Mm. And yep, Joe is swinging at Dr. E and Ponda. He's he was scared of the force field, and because you're just going for raw power, getting rid of six forfeit is big. Yeah, like that's six cards lost if Greg doesn't have the gick. So And they corrected the ruling long ago that the clashed guy doesn't stop you from geeking out of the battle. I know early on in the game, before they clarified some of those rulings, that actually was an issue. They're like, oh, you didn't lose oh, everyone yeah. at the site. Like, back when there were bad rulings abound and Greg Zinn was not always available to help us learn things. Is that uh, Chris Schoenthal looming over the uh, table? That is. Watching them play. Chris I has a vested don't interest. Don't see a gick in Greg's hand. His little spin through there quick. I did not see a gick. Okay, so he's forced. He's got a force push, but who's he? What is he doing here? I don't like. Who are you force pushing out? Luke. Okay, but then you still have. Well, he force pushes Ahsoka out. Which seems almost worse. I'm not sure. Because Jedi Presence should still, that already went through. Everyone got double. Yeah. Um, and Joe tells, now puts a card down with like my father before me. I was going to say, this might tell me. So that he, he must the have gick. the gick. Yeah, there, there's no way to do that without the gick because you want that yeah, forfeit if nothing you, else. That way you have Sidious, you have Vader. Yeah. I mean, you don't have Vader this turn because he got clashed. When did he get clashed? Okay, so there's the always two. No, he stacks. There's the, the stack. Yeah, which, which gives is the Joe the of, uh, Sith. Yep, and Joe. So Joe did not. Or oh, Joe doesn't have his destiny out there, <laughs> and he does have the gig. Okay. Yeah. And yes, Joe could not have played always two because it's during amazing. battle, Vader is yeah, he's not there. Well, you're saying Matt, uh, Greg couldn't. Yeah, Greg, Greg couldn't, couldn't play yeah. always two. So, yeah. and somebody must have knocked on my door because my dog is going insane. 
but that's fine. So now it's so we lose Chewy, we lose Lando. Uh, it was from hand. Yeah, if it was from hand, it is both. It is open. Sidious exclu is just was just excluded until the end of the uh, end of the turn. Maul, uh, Vader's still out because Vader was clashed mm -hmm. during Joe's turn. So Vader is out until the end of Joe's next turn. So Sidious right now is sitting there alone. And Again, staring down Ahsoka and Luke. I don't like that. That's kind of a bad spot. For Lord Sidious, yeah. Like there's nowhere else for Sidious to go. Now, if and Gick is dead. Dark, I was gonna say a sniper dark strike here would be not bad. Yeah. Vader and Sidious are back on Greg's. Oh, Clash was on the dark side turn. Okay, so yeah, okay. then Vader's back. Okay. That's Important. And we see the git get grabbed. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then Joe recycled, which actually means that card he put down is in the wrong spot because it should have been, if he was grabbing the gick, it should have been on top of all of his destiny draws, but yeah, that is not fixable now. Yeah. Chris is too vested for his teammate at this point, though. Uh, um, I don't think that's the case. Chris is uh, tired. Chris is also not going to interrupt the game for something so silly like that. Yeah. Or adjust rulings over something just for a teammate. Like Chris is yeah. the consummate professional. I know. So now we see the pod racer draw. The Joe the just draw, mm -hmm. draws the two and he stacks it. And the four, that should give him the race. Yeah, and we might see well Joe has no force saved. Yeah, so Joe says nope, I'm not gonna he's not do yeah, it he because... doesn't want to stack at this point. And mostly because the new the Padre shield no longer does the protects the retrieval. It says you lose no force to bounty Eve Padres. Yeah. But it doesn't protect the dark side the light side's retrieval on it. So Joe needs to have that six to pay. All right, there's a bunch of cards. A search getting revealed. Um, so if Sidious and Maul and Vader are back now. I was going to say, Maul's not in this deck. Yeah, Sidious and Vader, I, I got there. I don't know if Greg wants to try and battle again. Yeah. There's no escape Dr. to get e. back, uh, Dr. E. Yeah. The Destinies aren't great, but they're not terrible. So there's a decent amount of red in there. I wonder if Joe... Does we know, do we know if Joe has a blast reflection in his hand? Uh, don't know. Yeah. It... Haven't seen it. Like, I gotta right. imagine he does. Gun that Ray. would be... All right, so... Greg says, I survived cool. your and beat down. Are you surviving mine? Do you have the do you have the Hoosix? Yeah. And Joe is just double checking that, hey, you get to use all those guys? What the heck? <laughs> so let's see where where this goes. Yeah. Like, I like that they're just just punching right back at each other. It's like, oh, you're going to hit hard? Well, guess what's coming? Now, That's if he's got the nice. deflection, he might not That's be three. too far out. And a three, so... That's a miss. Oh, so that's no hit. Yeah. Because Luke's a seven. Wow. Well, Luke's a seven, Ahsoka's a six, and that was a well, six. Well, he can't... Oh, yeah, it's Vader's saber. I was yeah. like, can't swing Mara's, but Mara's dead. Yeah. That was actually big to miss that. Yeah. Like, I gotta imagine Joe might have the Hoojix. Three. Uh, so who Dr. was e he hit. swinging at? E. Okay, Dr. E again. Yep. Yeah. Get rid of the forfeit. So, I mean, yeah. Lake's getting three destiny. Now, they each are of all minus, minus one. one. Yeah. Like, and he can't, like, you can't sand there. So, you gotta, no. I wonder if Greg's forgotten he's got sand out or just, didn't want to take a card off it. 
Uh, he probably forgot. I mean, with yeah. all the stuff that he's got going on right now. Yeah. But again, three destiny. Oh, but they're each minus one. Well, no, that doesn't do any. Uh, no, that's going to add to the power. Yeah, it'll add three to his power. I don't think you chuck Vader's stick here. No, no. I'm Mostly not. because if Joe has some sort of rebeat coming, you don't want Vader without a stick. Yeah. Like, okay, so I, I would two, definitely not chuck Vader's stick. Or and a zero, so six. Oh, that's, that's bad. Yeah, and why did Joe, why did Joe draw two? Okay, uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I was wondering. Was Joe one. draws a five? Yeah. That's a four. No, it's plus oh, five because like, like my, my father. father told me. Uh, that's Applack. So he's got what he's at so, eight, 13, 13 11, 18, so 16 to for Joe, 18, isn't it? Luke's eight. How's Luke eight? Flower plus two with the lightsaber. Uh, that's from what. From Luke. No. Maybe. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Power plus two and armed with the okay. lightsaber. So 13 Heck. plus five is 18. Yeah, yeah, 18. And I, so Joe's losing everything, which might be fine. And Yeah, he's fine with that. And we see Applet go away. I mean, if Joe had had a counter, if Joe had some of the... Somebody in hand maybe to go back with. He might have tried to figure out uh, how to I had get like one. Three of them growing up. And is Joe figuring out that? Oh, you wow! Feel. So it was both of them plus two. Two. Ooh, like the first box of reflections too. I got because I only got it one ever. The last pack was a foil LSJK. Wow, I did not think he lost that battle by more than sixteen. That's impressive. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of power. And then, of course, the next event I go to, I buy two packs of reflections to uh, two, and pull another LSJK. <sighs> All right, so Joe's <laughs> gotta go. I mean, I guess Joe doesn't necessarily have to go out. It's just a drain of two, like. Oh, man. I have five. Oh, oh we two. see the Vader warp. So then Vader will drain numbers. for two there. And now Joe's got to decide a little bit harder. What does he want to do? Yeah, Joe, I don't know if I agree with moving the Vader. I mean, I don't hate it because like Sidious plus Newt is two destiny. Yeah. Like, that's not a bad and spot. This, and there's a Vader in the lost pile. And Vader alone is... He's hard to hit. that Vader's at his best. Yeah. Because you I go mean, get the, the anger or something like that, and you grab a card off anger, of... lightsaber proficiency. He's immune to attrition less than eight against the Jedi. Yeah. Uh, six against regular people. So, I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm okay with that move. As much as I think this is a game where Greg needs to just, hey, don't open your and that's another good point. Uh, self up, Jim. Uh, Clash is gone. Sorry, a stack. Uh, so Boon to Eve Pond Race, he's not at 24 yet. Yeah. And it only ends during move phase. Yeah. And it ha it's on your opponents when you draw it. So, and Joe, would have Joe to save is this. picking up enough that he's not going to. He's not going to pop the race. Yeah, I think Greg's probably very happy right yeah, now no, and Greg just says, fine, I'm going to... I'll drain for two and two. Like, in this case, I think if you're Greg, you do pay the drain. It's not two and two. It's uh, it's two and oh, two. No, it is two and two because of prof, uh, proficiency. Yeah. That's... Is it two and two? Yeah. Prophecy adds one. Oh, no. Yeah, prophecy adds one, and then malediction adds one because Vader's alone. Yeah. So it's two and two, and then it'll move prophecy. Where three and two, three and two. You can, your drains can't be reduced. in the punish battleground system. Oh, you're right. Good point. So three and two. All right. So yep. Thank and you, Greg's doing it right by draining first where the prophecy is. Yeah, that's so the other he reason gets why he gets the extra drain out of that. 
Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I forgot somebody... that Vader Drain was. For, forgot about that part of the Roth's text. <laughs> we dissect everyone's move. Yeah, but we're so nice about it. Yeah. I mean, I think Joe's got to be getting. You got to be getting close. Close to out. Oh, so he stacks first. No, he takes the drain. Now he chooses oh, the stack. Nice. So now he says, okay, I'm winning the race this turn. But I don't think he's got six to pay to he retrieve. Doesn't. He'll get all those destiny back. I mean, Joe doesn't need to like, get to six bat to two battlegrounds. But he, he's Greg not. Has to play uh, this, Greg has to play the race shield here to stop him from losing six. Does yeah. he? I mean, I think he'd like to, but like. You, if Joe's not retrieving anything, are you that worried about? That's true. You know, Joe's not retrieving. If you lose six, like, yeah, it puts that clock a little harder, but Joe still has to do something. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what he might be saving for, like, battle order if he goes up to space. As we see, Joe just lost the wild card so joe had some space <laughs> sean i'd pull the shield so it might not be a good idea um and there's sidious's lightsaber so it'll be drains of four and two next turn if uh yeah because you're gonna drain joe doesn't do something the... about vader yeah, you're going to Ewok Village first. I, I just don't. I don't know. I, I, I'm I feeling like I probably would pull the. Yeah, you're not the, wrong. The, the, uh, idea I, don't, I don't think I want to lose six. If I'm Greg, like. Especially because it's going to put six cards back in for Joe, just those destiny. So it's going to put Joe in a position where it is. He's still numerically possible to win. But Secret Plans is out, which does stop Joe's retrieval. Uh, Decree V doesn't do anything to pod racing because it yeah. only protects during control phase. Yep, and this is move phase. So. Um, oh, Decree does no longer say control phase. Interesting. All right, Decree used to say move control phase at one point. Are you? Sh yeah, I know it did. Yeah, I just I just pulled it up on Gimp. Well, it's whenever you would lose force. Well, I mean, I'm going to trust the slicers on Gamp. So it would have, I mean, it'd reduce it by two. Three now as he put, the hell ship yeah, is that? Right. Huh? What ship oh, is? Oh, that is Darth Maul in his Sith Infiltrator. Is that the new Sith that Infiltrator? That is the new Sith Infiltrator. Go, Greg. You're letting out the secret tech of reading. Uh, so yes, that is Maul Sith. Maul there it is. Scimitar. Maul in Scimitar. Like uh, may add a pilot. Permanent pilot is Maul, who provides ability of six. Once per battle, may lose one to cloak. Either add a destiny, add one destiny to total attrition. Or I'm sorry, total power, or add make this one ship destiny immune. to total power, or make this ship immune to attrition less than six. Not bad. I mean, it's good for this deck. 
Yeah. Why it's is Destiny. it still using that? It's Destiny 4. That seems like a good uh, solid. Bill is using Eli Vanto because he likes the idea of the uh, sweet-talking Southerner Eli. So... Yeah, Coward's not out, but Secret Plans is. So Joe's not retrieving either way. Like, and I think Joe had to know. He's like, well, I've got to put it at this. I will say, I'm like, if he could have saved the six, I might have saved it and forced the Coward pull instead of You've Never Won a Race. Yeah. But ultimately, I think Greg's in a pretty good spot here. Like, Joe got back a couple Vaders that were stacked, or a couple Lukes that were stacked on his pod racer. But, like, where are you going to go with them? What's your plan here? Greg's Do sitting I on three well, forests, which sure as heck looks like a, I've got a you are beaten. Yeah. Uh, Joe activated what, 11? 11 or 12, yeah. So mm-hmm. he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, Alea. Yeah, Joe activated 11. <laughs> and he runs Vader away. <laughs> yeah just run Vader away you know and Joe says fine I'm gonna go Luke with his saber with his hand at the at Endor so prophecy doesn't move yeah but at the same time like it's still a drain of two it's a drain of two and one so they're yeah. doing equal damage Joe's gonna have to pay Greg is not no neither of them are gonna have to pay battle order's not on table Ew. Never mind. Ain't nobody paying for nothing. Never mind. And there's I did it. And like, Han, I don't think it does anything. I did it is suspended. Yeah. Unless you control something. Oh, he said battle plan is out. Thank you, Keith. Where is battle plan? Uh did Joe put that out? Honestly, I think it's the glare card right in the middle. Or like right at the lower. Left, on the lower right bottom okay side. oh shiny card in the corner thank you keith all right i'm gonna stick with the i couldn't see it so fair enough maybe yeah. you should get your unless bonus. opponent yeah. occupies three battlegrounds i did it is suspended yeah so i did it is currently suspended i think we got to do a trivia question yeah because i think joe's just you... figuring out a neighbor like i think that's his answer right now that's his that's his chance to win his neighbor and everybody over some sort of huge battle. So uh, yeah, I, I'll agree with you. Uh really quick, but let's do our last tri- our second to last. Well, let's do another trivia question. Our, earlier I asked for five members of the Hall of Fame. Those were answered. Uh we got the answers of Chris Menzel, Joe Olson, Justin Desai, Emil Wh- Whalen, and Angelo. First person in the chat can, who could name me five other ones will get a prize. I was contemplating, like, I thought you might do something like this, and I was contemplating trying to look up if there were five pirates and or stealers, and Google broke and said, Hall of Fame Pittsburgh does not compute, so... Uh, Emil well, was already named. Emil, Hunter is not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, neither. Five of them. Brian Hunter's not in the PC Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, and Matt Crowley is Hunter not in the Hall not. of Fame. Sokol, Chu, Goglin, Shaw, Scott. Is Sokol in the Hall of Fame? I'm, yeah, I'm 90% positive that he is. Okay. Like, uh, right Even now, if we include on, Decipher, yeah. Hayes Hunter is not in the Hall of Fame yet. Yeah. So, uh, I'm talking the real Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame that matters. I mean, I'd have given you if uh, if your only one was not. Uh... Yeah, but you said show instead of Brian Hunter. Brian Hunter is in the yeah. Hall of Fame, so your Hayes Hunter doesn't count. Ha! Technicality, Robbie. That's all, Neil. All right, so Soko we're... is in the Hall of Fame. Good for him. So, Germs, you win. Congratulations. 
<laughs> I appeal. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. your appeal was four seconds too late. You do not get a bronze medal. <laughs> Very topical. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what we're talking and about, we there was a... And there's a handshake. So yeah. it looks like Greg Shaw advances to the finals. Congratulations, Greg Shaw. Like, he played that very, very well and absolutely deserves to be in the finals. Um, so in the do we know three. what's going on in the other, uh, on the other table yet? Uh, well, we know that uh, B. Fred won by 22. All right. Do we know? He won by 21. Sorry. Uh, in this other one, it is OA versus Ra, uh, Revenge of the Sith. 